Uh, welcome to the Amtrak version of Ask Cordry. Uh, I am on my yearly uh, train trip to Wright Children's Hospital. We're writing season five right now. Uh, we do it every year, and uh, here we are. You're part of it, but not really. It's just about me. Uh, I got a lot of great questions this week. This guy, 69, asks, What's the best character you've played your whole life? Um, well, if it's, uh, if people yelling at me on the street are any indication, it's uh, Lou from Hot Tub Time Machine. Um, people uh, say things like, uh, Lou Gold, or uh, you're the d from that Hot Tub movie, or um, my husband likes your movie, but I don't. Uh, also, I'd say, personally, uh, it's a movie that hasn't come out yet. It comes out February 1st, I think, called Warm Bodies. I play the same character I always play, except he's a zombie. So, come to terms with that uh, Kaylee, my best friend, uh, one of my best friends. Kara is also a good friend of mine. Uh, but Kaylee asks, who inspired you to become a comedian? What was it like working to the top? And what kept you going? The top, uh, the top of the what list, Kaylee? Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, well, first of all, I fancied myself a pretty serious actor when I got out of acting school. Then I went to this, um, I started going to this comedy show, I guess it was called. It was more of like a weird poetry comedy uh, thing where people would m most often get naked, which I enjoy. And uh, it was called the Reverend Jen's Anti Slam in the uh, Lower East Side of New York. Uh, look her up, Reverend Jen. She's still plugging away. Uh, then I met, uh, I thought, hey, I should do this, but I never did. And then uh, my friend Jen got me into a comedy group called Third Rail, which was really cool. And then I decided to start my own comedy troupe called Naked Babies, where the concept was that I would get everybody, uh, all my funniest friends together uh, to do comedy. And we did that, and then we all sort of found the Upright Citizens Brigade, um, and that's, uh, you know, that'll come up later in another question that is fantastic. And I have a great answer. Uh, my, but my influences, I guess, if you could say, I guess this, uh, this uh, question begs for influences, uh, pretty much just the typical, uh, Steve Martin. Chevy Chase, Monty Python, Kids in the Hall, the Young Ones. But you know what I just realized? Judy Bloom, the author of uh, Tales of the Fourth Grade Nothing, Super Fudge, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret, which taught me all about my period. Um, and, uh, and, and what keeps me going is uh, not being good at anything else. Also, uh, never have a fallback plan if you want to do comedy because you'll fall back on it. Uh, and Ashed asks, I have a friend moving to California from North Carolina to be a comedy writer. Do you have any advice for her? Upright Citizens Brigade. Next question. Uh, Kaylee, again. What is the meaning of life exactly? Kaylee is a sponge, and I am honored to be the water that soaks it until it's too old and starts to smell. Um, she says, uh, uh, what's the secret, what's the meaning of life exactly? You're asking the right guy. Um, I figured it out. The Sierra Dining Car Chain is making passengers holding 845. Oh. 845 dinner reservations. It's time for dinner. Once again, all passengers holding this is where I go sit with uh, uh, Asian tourists, hippies, old people, or uh, Vietnam vets who are going to die so and want to see the country. But uh, I'll tell you, uh, be kind to each other. Uh, surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. Uh, 
don't have an ego about anything, and eat right. Uh, I subscribe to the Michael Pollan rules of eating. Uh, eat real food, mostly vegetables, not too much. Goodbye.